Yummy. Yummy, right? He likes it. You're so cute. Thank you, honey. I'll give it right back, okay? I'm, I'm, I'll be quick. He wasted like a whole thing. Like it's not gonna get any more purple. Wow, good job, honey. Yeah. Hammer, hammer. Yeah. Hello, Doc. Then, a bucket. Good morning, it is um, early March. I don't really know the date. What day is it? One, two. Good morning, it is March 3rd and I am tapping maple trees. Um, super early in the season to be tapping, but it is warm during the days, so it's the weather for it. Last year I put about 32 taps out. Um, this year I'm hoping to do more. Um, I've tapped 20 trees so far um, and that's only on one side of the property 
Um, I have another, you know, 10 plus on the other side. There's some on this side of the property that I've never tapped. Um, I'm just looking around, I see at least 10 additional trees that I could add taps to. Um, however, I don't have enough buckets, so um, I am gonna have to take a trip to the store one of these days pick up some buckets or either or another rain barrel I'm not sure but this afternoon I'm going to tap at least another 10 to 15 trees on top of the 20 that I've already tapped um, last year we were able to make about 18 liters of syrup we have run out of that completely we do give a lot away to friends and family um, but this year I want to make more it's my favorite time of year it's my favorite activity um, I think it's just something that gets me outside um, it's a reminder that it's kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, winter is, is coming to an end and spring is here. Super excited that it is maple syrup season. All right, pull, honey, pull. Harder. Harder. Harder, put your back into it. Hudson. Hey, honey, come help daddy. Daddy needs honey. help, Hudson. Honey, Hudson. Hudson, Hudson, are you gonna listen? Hudson. Good job, bud. All right. Bye. I'm done for the day today because I've run out of some supplies that I would need um, to tap anymore. We will have to run out tomorrow and grab the rest of what we need and tap the rest of the nine trees. Um, but that's pretty exciting. The sap is flowing today. Um, couple buckets pretty full on the other side of the property already. So um, we'll have to probably get boiling later this week. So I have two taps coming from that first tree on the right there. And then you can see the line runs down here. This is the last tree I have tapped here. And from here, the line is running all the way down to the rain barrel. This is not how I'm planning on leaving it. This line will attach to a few more trees. After tapping trees, Jim thought he'd take advantage of the snow while we still had it and use the snowmobile to haul up the barrel stove, some extra firewood, and the canvas tent.
I took some time to dig out the snow beneath the barrel stove just to make sure it's sitting flat on the ground. You don't want to risk the snow melting beneath it and then toppling the stove over and losing all of that syrup. And then I just lined the barrel stove with the fire bricks. The fire bricks are a great help in keeping that fire going and keeping those coals nice and hot. I've actually often just got that fire going again from the coals that remained in the barrel stove throughout the night. We also decided to set up the canvas tent because we hadn't pulled it out since our last camping trip and we wanted to make sure it got aired out because when we packed it away there was some ice still stuck to it. Um, we also just in general like to set it up at this time of year because it's a kind of a fun place to hang out while we're doing a boil down. Sometimes we'll bring some friends up and have a little outdoor maple syrup making experience so it's just kind of a nice place to hang out when it is maybe not so nice outside otherwise that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for the next video where i tap the rest of the trees and get into our first boil down of the season